In this video, I'll be talking about vitamin B1 or thiamine. So vitamin B1 or thiamine is a chemically substituted pyrimidine ring and a thiazole ring which is connected to each other by a methylene bridge. Now one of the most important deficiency diseases associated with vitamin B1 is beriberi. So in this video we will focus on the structure, the sources, the importance of thiamine as a coenzyme and also the deficiency related diseases. So stay tuned till the end of this video. Let us look at the sources where we can get vitamin B1. So vitamin B1 can be obtained from cereals like all kind of cereals. Milk, cheese, eggs, beef, beef liver, nuts, avocado and from several kind of fruits like peach etc. Now especially for the cereals, the oleuron layer contains the vitamin B1. So for example if you buy like whole wheat bread, you buy whole grain rice or dried yeast grains, you would get a lot of vitamin B1. But in case of polished rice, this oleuron layer is removed. So we don't get that much of vitamin B1 from that. Now vitamin B1 can work as a coenzyme for many many enzymes. So let us look about look at how vitamin B1 or a format of vitamin B1 can work like a coenzyme. So first let us take a take an example from pyruvate metabolism where pyruvate is converted to acetaldehyde by the enzyme pyruvate decarboxylase. In that enzyme uh, our vitamin B1 is a coenzyme. Actually the format is thiamine pyrophosphatase. Now vitamin B1 which is actually obtained from several food sources get converted to thiamine pyrophosphatase by a specific phosphorylating enzyme and that's the active form of the vitamin B1. Now in pyruvate decarboxylase the, uh, the thiamine pyrophosphatase the whole ring the thiazoleum ring is an acceptor for pyruvate. It interacts with it and form an active acetaldehyde intermediate which is further cleaved to release the acetaldehyde and leave the ring intact. So we now understand that how vitamin B1 can serve as a coenzyme and help in enzyme catalysis. It turns out vitamin B1 is also or vitamin B1 or thiamine pyrophosphatase is an important coenzyme for the enzyme transketolase which is super important for the pentose phosphate pathway and you all know that pentose phosphate pathway is important to generate the reduction equivalent for the reduction type of uh, re reactions in our body. In that context vitamin B1 is super important. Now if you don't know about pentose phosphate pathway I have a different video about it. Now Several enzymes like pyruvate dehydrogenase which is important in glycolysis like alpha ketoglutaride dehydrogenase which is important in Krebs cycle, transketolase which is important in pentose phosphate pathway. All of these enzymes has a common coenzyme which is the thiamine pyrophosphatase which is derived from vitamin B1. So in short vitamin B1 is important for several aspects of glucose metabolism and we can appreciate that in case of deficiency glucose metabolism would be affected. Now vitamin B1 is also involved in neurotransmitter production as a part of the pentose phosphate pathway and also vitamin B1 is involved in neurotransmitter modulation and especially for acetylcholine. So you can imagine that a deficiency in vitamin B1 might lead to neuritis or neuropathy, right? So when we look at the deficiency syndromes we can Keep these things in mind, this basic function and try to appreciate how the deficiency lead to different problems. One first problem with vitamin B1 deficiency is wet periberi, which comes with very fast heart rate and all sort of cardiac problems. This leads to shortness of breath and even swelling of the legs, uh, especially the lower limbs. Then comes the dry periberi. In case of dry periberi, the peripheral neuritis is a big problem and I already told you that vitamin B1 is super important for neurotransmitter modulation and neurotransmitter biogenesis. So its deficiency might lead to peripheral neuritis, severe leg pain and pain in the joints 
and in case of chronic situation it might lead to paralysis as well. Another syndrome is wernicke korsakoff syndrome which is also known as cerebral beriberi. In this particular situation, several aspects of the brain function is affected. The cerebral might get affected which controls our posture and balance. Then the brain stem could get affected. Now brain stem give rise to all the cranial nerves which are innervated in our face and eyes. So if brain stem is affected, all those uh, innervations to our sensory motor innervations to our eye and face could get also affected. Now, if the medulla is affected, then there is a change in heart rate and breathing because the vagus nerve is originating from the medulla and controlling the heart rate as well. We can understand that how severe these symptoms could be and in case of chronic situation, it could lead to death as well. Now, one of the biggest problem associated with this deficiency is alcohol abuse because too much alcohol kind of... Uh, inhibit the enzymatic conversion of vitamin B1 to thiamine pyrophosphatase which is the active form of this vitamin. Now normally in case of uh, the, the body this uh, vitamin B1 is actually absorbed from the duodenum but alcoholism prevents the absorption or uptake of vitamin B1 in the duodenum. Not only that in case of alcoholism, there is a risk of liver cirrhosis or fatty liver. So normally vitamin B1 is stored in the liver and which cannot be stored normally in case of the alcohol abuse and liver cirrhosis, right? And thereby the vitamin B1 availability in the blood is reduced. Now daily requirement is 1.5 mg and it can be easily obtained from all the proper dietary sources. So if there is a deficiency first thing is to like try to make that deficiency up with proper intake of food and diet second is you have to get rid of like alcohol abuse otherwise it can really lead to problem in your vitamin b1 levels and thereby glucose metabolism and brain function so alcohol abuse is an absolute no-no and at the end if everything fails there is always vitamin b1 supplements which can be taken to meet up the daily requirement so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you